Cinderella, aren't you finished with my hat yet? Not quite, Catherine. Cinderella, hurry up and hand me my pearls. In a minute, Jean. No, right now. Just throw them if you have to. All right. Oh. Thank you, Misha. I can always count on you. Oh. Thank you, Misha. It's the least I could do. They have you doing so many things no one could keep up. Cinderella, <laughs> where's my hat? It's right here, Catherine. Here you are. Catherine, Jean. Show me what you're wearing for tonight's party. You'll be so pleased. That's right, we designed them ourselves. Ta-da! Huh? What are you doing in those costumes, hmm? You can't possibly wear those. You told everyone it was a costume ball. It's gonna be so much fun. I didn't mean for you to wear costumes. I want you to wear your finest dresses so you really stand out. Especially if the prince decides to accept our invitation. And while all the guests look silly in their costumes, you'll prove to the prince that you're worthy of wearing the crown. Oh, I understand now. Oh, well, you can wear it, Cinderella. Hmm? Can I really wear Jean's costume? No, it won't be practical for serving our guests. This party isn't for you, Cinderella. It's for my real daughters. Oh. Hmm. Maybe next time. Have you finished preparing all of the food I ordered? Yes, ma'am. Hmm? Oh, no, the pastries? Oh, that's terrible. So, Alex, what do you think we should do? I think we should speak to your father tonight, after Zarel has left. We can tell the king what happened. Excellent plan. I just hope we'll be able to stop that traitor in time. Oh, the pastries are burned. I'm going to have to start all over. Do you think you have time for that? Hello, my friends. Hmm? Paulette! I've brought some treats for your party. Oh, thank you. They look delicious. I hope they're all right. I haven't baked in quite a while. Look what Paulette brought us. Poor Cinderella. She burned the pastries while she was helping the girls get dressed. Really, they're running her ragged. I'd better fix these. Did you make these, dear? Hmm? Yes, but they're ruined. Usually they come out golden and buttery. Well, that's how I would describe this batch. Huh? I don't understand. A second ago, they were all burned to a crisp. I was going to have to start all over. See you this afternoon. Will I recognize you in your costume, Paulette? <laughs> Actually, I might need your help with it. Going as. <laughs> yes, the one and only fake Prince Charles. A perfect impersonation, Majesty. I salute your talent, sir. Thank you. Let's get to the ball. We don't want to keep our public waiting. As you wish. Excellent. <laughs> don't do that. It gives you away every time. Oh, right. The Prince has impeccable manners, Marcel. If you can master royal etiquette, everyone will really think you're Prince Charles. On the double. Oh, oh, hurry up! Hurry up! What is going on down there? Majesty! Doesn't feel right, Charles. Yes, I have the same feeling. Come on. Shoot! 
Gates around! Come quickly! Tell these men to put down their arms! Make way, men! You traitor! You are not worthy of my crown! I disagree, and as of today, I'm taking over Emerald Castle and relieving you of all your royal powers. It won't work, Sorrel. It already has, and as a token of my appreciation, I'm going to allow you and the Queen to remain here, as long as you obey me. How could we have trusted you? What about our son? Where is Prince Charles? <laughs> you haven't. Why don't you go and get some rest in your chambers? This must be a shock. You won't be like this anymore. Go on, I have a kingdom to run here. <laughs> What news of Prince Charles, then? My men are taking care of it, Majesty. They nearly got us that time. We'll have to stay out of sight from now on. Come on. He must be around here somewhere. still need something, don't you? No, Paulette, you look like a perfect witch. Well, of course, since you really are one, Paulette. <laughs> He's just being silly. Anyway, it looks like Prince Charles has stolen the show. Yes, Marcel is a great impersonator. I am honored that you invited me to your balls. Oh, Majesty, you don't know how happy you've made me. But not nearly as happy as I will be to dance with you, Your Highness, for as long as you may wish. I get to dance with him first, team. I don't think so. They'll have to learn not to bicker like that in front of the real prince. So, that's where the prince is trying to hide. Your Majesty, is it true that you're the greatest swordsman in the kingdom? Not only is he the greatest swordsman, but he's the greatest showman, too. Oh, would you give us a demonstration? The prince can never refuse a request from such a lovely lady. One sword fight coming up. Ha! Isn't he wonderful? Such oh. power! You seem like a worthy opponent, therefore I challenge you. Ready or not? Ha-ha! <laughs> Isn't he just amazing? I can't wait to marry him. Yes, that's the way, Majesty. You're the champion of the kingdom. No one can beat you. He's trying to make a fool out of me. Hey, what's the matter with you? It's only pretend, you know. <laughs> Seen enough. 
out! You can stop now! You! Something strange is going on here. Hey, did you hear me? We can stop now! No, no, not until I finish with you! Wait, what are you talking about? It's just an arm! Ha! You don't fool me, coward! That ought to take care of the prince. Prince Charles? Hmm? But he's not the prince. I don't like the looks of this. Marcel! Oh, Marcel! Marcel! I hope nothing bad has happened to him. Oh! Everyone's returned except for Terran. Correct, Majesty, but he should be here shortly. Still, I won't feel secure until we have the Prince under our guard. And we can claim Emerald Kingdom once and for all. We failed you, Majesty. We weren't able to defend you. We can't give in to despair, men. I've just had good news. Prince Charles is sick. Charles, we have to save him. Yes, I know. He's heading for the castle. Why would they take Marcel there? I really hope that he's not going to be punished for impersonating Prince Charles. No, he really thinks that's me up there. I don't understand, Charles. Are you all right, Charles? Yes, what's happened? Zorel has put his plan into action, but he won't get away with it. What? Who are they? Those are my soldiers. Will you please tell me what's going on? I don't have time. We have to get to the castle. so well. Excellent. Good work. Now we can officially proclaim Duke Zaral to be king of this kingdom. <laughs> Majesty! This better be good. I'm busy. You set him free immediately! Who are you to give orders here? Leave it to me, sir. Be careful. Oh, I don't believe it. 
Please watch out. Look over here, kid. If you so much as move another inch, the prince is gonna pay for it. You understand? No, because he's not Prince Charles. That's the truth. His name is Marcel, and he's only pretending to be the prince. It's all a misunderstanding. Take a good look. I'm not a prince. I'm nothing. I'm an actor. Uh, we're not falling for it. If you think we're going to buy a silly story like that, you're dumber than you look. It's too late to save your precious prince. Soon, Emerald Castle will be all mine. <laughs> now get rid of him. I'm telling you, you make a mistake. <laughs> Duke Sorel, do you really think a true prince would be trembling like that poor boy? What? He's no prince. I'll show you how a true prince defends his kingdom. Off of me. Oh, thank you, Majesty. Oh. I'm sorry you were hurt because of me. How is this possible? I don't believe this. Charles the Fibber is really the Prince of Emerald Castle? What are you standing there for, men? Get him! I want him out of my way for good! We're here for you, Majesty. <laughs> <laughs> I always knew you were a traitor, Zarel, but I'll never stand by and watch you take over my father's kingdom. Charles, this kingdom will be mine. As long as I have breath in my body, I'll defend my kingdom from scoundrels like you. You won't get rid of us that easily, I can assure you. Come on, man, let's go. But we'll be back. You can count on that. We've located your mother and father, Charles, and they're both unharmed. Thank goodness, Alex. Thank you for everything. And thank you, men, for your help. I must be dreaming. How can it be that my Charles is actually the Prince of Emerald Castle? But I saw it with my own eyes. Cinderella. Uh, I'm sorry. I have to go. No, Cinderella. No, wait. That boy who had come to be my best friend until today isn't really Charles the Fibber. He's Charles, the Prince of Emerald Kingdom. I can't be part of his royal circle. We're from two different worlds. So I'll probably never even speak to him again. And just when I started to realize that he's taken a very important place in my heart. We've had so many adventures together. And he's told me so many stories. But if he hadn't, we probably never would have spent all that time together. I can't believe I talked to the prince like I did. He must not be used to that. But he didn't hold it against me. He's a true friend and he's always been there when I needed him. I don't think I really appreciated his friendship as much as I do now. I'll miss him so much. Goodbye, my friend.